Welcome. Today's presentation is on angles of elevation and depression. So the question reads, a man on top of a tower, 300 meters, sees two cars, P and Q, on a straight level road. The angle of depression of P was 48 degrees and that of Q was 28 degrees. Calculate the distance between the two cars. Give your answer correct to two decimal places. So, first thing, we need to interpret this in a diagram. So, we have a man at the top of the tower. So, this we have the top. And then you're told that the tower is 300 meters high or tall. And then the man observes two cars on the ground. And there's a car which he observes at an angle of depression of 48 degrees. So at an angle of depression of 48 degrees is able to observe car P and then we also have the second car observed at an angle of depression of 28 degrees so remember this line here and the ground are horizontal and parallel so that if we have this point as Q and here as P, then Q up to the top is a transversal line and then P up to the top is also another transversal line. So if we have this angle here as 28 degrees, then we'll also have this as 28 degrees. So if this is the angle of depression, then this one here is the angle of elevation which is the same as the angle of depression. And for this particular case, these are alternate angles. Here also, if we have 48, then the angle of elevation at this point is 48 degrees. So what you are required to do is to calculate the distance between the two cars. So that is QP. We can call it D. Let's call the distance D. So I'm going to use a formula where if you have the height as H and then we have the two points, let's say A and B, so that the angles of elevation at A and B are as follows. So if at A we have X and B we have Y, and then we consider AB to be distance D, then the height there is obtained by simply having this distance D times tangent of angle Y times tangent of angle X all over tangent of angle Y minus tangent of X. And since we are interested in D, not H, we are simply going to make D the subject, which is just D is equal to H into tan Y minus tan X, all divided by tan Y tan X. And for this particular case, we are going to use this formula here to solve this. So QP is D according to this equation still. So we have D is equal to H, which is the height given as 300 times tan of Y and Y is 48 minus tan X and X is 28. And then we'll divide that by tan 48 times tan 28. And directly from my calculator, I'm getting 
point zero nine six seven but because we are told to give our answer to two decimal places we round this off and that is approximately two hundred and ninety four point one zero and that is it for this question and thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video